Hello, I'm Ted and welcome back to my world of muddling. Now I hope to finish this model railway layout in about four weeks. So just for today I'll like to explain how I've made uh, some of the parts and how I've fitted them. I'll start with the castle. Now the smaller turrets are made from an old broom style, which are carefully hollowed out with a spade drill, like so, fitted into a pillar drill. Got the walls down to about 3 16th and then covered it with some strips of uh, Cardboard. I cut various sizes to simulate the stone, glued them on with PVA glue, and then using pretty well the same colour but different shades, just picked out the stones just to make it a bit more interesting looking. Covered some of the wall with ivy and a couple of little shrubs. In the front here we have some heather, and the body of the heather is I've used. This polyfibre, which you get online, it's absolutely invaluable because you can use it for forming the trees, shrubs, hedges, anything basically. It's a wonderful material. Now, on top of the polyfibre, I added some heather scatter. Now, the scenic glue you buy online is about eight pounds for a pint, which is very expensive, especially if you need quite a lot. What I actually used here was hairspray, permanent hot hairspray, which I can get for 89 pence from a local supermarket, which does pretty well the same job. I won't say which supermarket it is, but when I walk away, I could say, don't care, the beat the same. I finally got round to finishing. The waistline on the the waistline now on the outside of the oval track. I decided to add some tree stumps that were glow, uh, growing too close to the railway line. They would have been overhanging, so they cut them back, and I used some of these twigs I used for making the trees. You turn them upside down, as you can see. The branches work just as well as roots, like so. I think they're quite nice, realistic. I finally got around to um, fitting some of the signs I had made. It's not very clear, does it? Why is that? That's better. I suppose it does look a bit dodgy. Now down here we have a mobile car where all the bikers congregate. I've not did the sign for that yet, but I'll probably call it something like the Pit Stop Cafe. Now past my motorcycle test in 1964, I was amongst the Muds and Rockers era. I was a rock obviously. In those days there were some fantastic motorcycles. I had one or two of them. There are today, just a lot more expensive.
Now the like was a lot of fun to make. I cut out the shape of the like from the uh, base board, lowered the floor about two inches, painted the like bed with uh, green and brown paint, darker in the middle, added some bits of foliage. I don't know if you can see the fish down there, but this is what I use for the fish. Dyed, dyed grass I used in the previous model. Then using half inch ply, I cut some strips to form the edge of the lake and then lowered the clear plastic sheet on top, leaving about half an inch gap. I think it was quite nice. The woods for everything you buy these days is covered in plastic and it comes in different shapes and sizes. I managed to find some pieces that were pretty well the shape of the water cascade that I wanted. So I glued them on and then poured some um, epoxy resin down to try and simulate the ripples. Then over the whole lot I poured proper resin water, just let it drip all the way down from the top right down into the lake, then using white paint just to create that look with the sunshine on it, you know, the um, I think it's quite realistic, gives you that foamy look that you can get on a waterfall, I was pleased with that. There's your fisherman. Couple of fishermen, looks like they're fishing in the wrong position. Two young ladies in their canoe, having fun. My dream car when I was a kid, the Type Jack. Austin 1300 JT, my brother's first car. Now over here, up in there, amongst the woods there, is a small herd of deer. I think that's really nice. Which brings us over to the farmyard, my favourite scene. I love anything, anything rural. I bought some of these old farm equipment, the carts and stuff online, I assembled them and they had to paint them all. I had to buy some of the vehicles online as well, that Ford's and tractor, they're about a fiver each, a bit dare but you only buy them once. I've got that old Ford from a boot sale, 50 pence, as they did the combine harvest about 50 pence. But you have to be very lucky to get them at a bit so some work but having a rest on the matter. More cells and convertible. And daughter Deva had a, one of those exactly the same colour. My first four wheels was a Morris Salesman van. A small flock of sheep.
the Woodside Naturist Club. This is a lot of fun. Quite graphic really, aren't they? There's some work involved in that pool. I had to build up the layers of uh, resin. We had six layers there, but I wanted to make sure it dried clear. But the overall effect was nice. I made those lie lows. A couple of weeks ago, I'll send off for some chickens I wanted to create um, put some chickens in the farmyard soon put the old pen round to hold them in use an old car which I've painted in rust now when they arrived last week they come with um, some deep geese ducks so I know what to create another small pond which built almost exactly the same as the big pond I think it's a lovely effect Now to add a bit more interest on the front here, I added some more shape. It's a nice effect. In doing so, I now had to create some means of access, which meant building a level crossing to get across the rail line. I don't know how realistic the level crossing gates are, but compared with proper railway equipment but I like them and I'm happy with those and of course the gate holds the shape I'm wandering onto the track I think that's everything now I can't think of anything I've missed I haven't mentioned the end guys I got those from a bit of sale for about 56 pence each. Um, I hollowed out the middle. It's like quite tough resin, but I hollowed it out and had to create some of the windows because I want to put lights in those. I've actually done that already. The lights are fitted, but I'll show those in the last video I do on this in about four weeks' time. They're quite nice. If there's anything else... Um, I haven't mentioned anybody would like to know a bit more information on how I did it. When you've watched the video, please uh, put your comments in there and I'll try and answer them to the best of my knowledge. I can't remember now if I mentioned our granddaughter, Amy Rose. She did make some quite helpful suggestions actually. When she saw these tree stumps, she just said, because um, because you've got lots of rocks, Grandad, she said, how about some fallen rocks? Which is a good idea. And I think I will I will do that before the last video I'll show. She saw those figures up there and said, they better camp by. And she made two or three other suggestions, uh, which I'm still thinking about. So that'll be it for now. Um, I'll probably speak to you again in about four weeks with the last video. Hopefully all the trains will be running. The lights will be on in the houses and shops. So that will be it for now. I'll say keep safe. And I'll speak to you in about four weeks. Bye for now.